Hello, it's me, and, um, well, it's another week. I don't really know what to say, um, um, again, Crisis 2 footage. Uh, since the last time I got, I got my three screens working, so I got three screen gaming. Obviously, I didn't put it on the video here because you guys would just get this elongated image that would just look uh, ridiculously small for you. So, I got the one screen for you. Uh, I also got, um, an Xbox controller. Uh, one of the Xbox receivers for PC, so I can use my Xbox controller on on PC. So I'm I'm fully set up now for PC gaming, and um, this game was kind of I did kind of awful because um, well the people were cloaking and they were just being being uh, mean, so I didn't do very well. The match before that I did really well. I got like 15 kills, which is a lot better than when I'm using a keyboard and a mouse. Just saying. So, anyways, uh, what I want to talk about this week was um um the new entity system in the engine um, I have been trying I've been designing for three weeks um, um, well I haven't actually worked physically on the engine for well I don't want to say physically I haven't actually worked on the engine for three weeks um, uh, for partially because I've been super busy and partially also because um, um, what you call it uh, partially because I've been trying to think up what to do about this Lua entity um, Lua component system uh, which has been super super difficult to design and uh, and make. In fact, you see, there's there's no like, um, not very many people have ever tried to make a component-based game engine using Lua as the components. Um, not very many people have done that before. So even though like the uh, the the OpenGL stuff was hard, this stuff has actually been turned out to be even harder because I've had to design it from the ground up myself without any guidance from anything else, and that's just been really difficult. Um, so, what I've come up with, and um, this is going to sound drastic, but hear me out. I, I've ditched the component system, so uh, there's no component system anymore. Uh, what I've done instead <coughs> is um, similar to the old style sort of inheritance based system, but except that it doesn't actually use any inheritance. Um, so basically, each entity has, um, has code in it built into it for rendering a sprite on the screen. And if you don't want to render a sprite, you just uh, leave the uh, you just leave the um, the box for um, or you leave the uh, blah, 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 the image file name for the sprite. You just leave it empty, and it won't render anything. Um, and all entities are like that. And then attached uh, also to the entity, each and every entity has a Lua uh, script that's um, that's special to it. But it still uses some sort of an ins instancing type system, so you make a, a basically a Lua table as though you are making a class, um, and you have that uh, like with your update function and your activated function, your deactivated function, just like you do you would in Unity. Um, but this this file is just for the one entity, so you won't be at, you you can't attach multiple. Sorry about that. You can't attach multiple um, um, multiple scripts to to an entity. Each entity has one script to represent it. Um, but it doesn't use... <coughs> sorry. It doesn't use... Um, uh, what you would call it? Um, doesn't use inheritance. Um, so if you wanted to do anything like... Uh, if you wanted to have a physics... Uh, have physics, you would just write in your update function or write in your start function enable physics on this object or whatever. Um, and the object has the, has the physics code and stuff in it. Um, built in already, you just gotta choose whether you want to activate it or not. Um, but it's sort of a cross between a component based system and an inheritance based system. It's not true component based system, but it's not true inheritance based system either. And uh, the reason I did that was um, um, to not have to deal with instancing all of the components in Lua, because Lua is not object oriented, so um, doing object ori orienting and making sort of instances of, 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 of something in Lua is actually quite difficult um, especially from from C++ so what happens is you write your, your Lua table that has all your code and your functions in it for that ed for that entity and then you um, and then you tell the uh, the object you tell the entity this is the script that you want it to control and what it'll do behind the scenes is it'll create an instance of that table sorry It'll create an instance of that table um, in Lua um, and and assign it to that object. So each object has an instance of a class. Therefore, you can have um, you can have two you can have duplicate entities 
um, that 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 can that can behave in like um, independently. So if you've got an entity that's got AI in it, and you duplicate it twice to make two enemies, um, if they were both based off the same script, they would both move like in in sync. They would move exactly the same movements. They would they would copy each other down to the last little movement. But with the instancing, um, they both have the same code, but um, but they can act independently. So that's pretty much that, and um, it's really been like uh, Lua scripting has been a, um, a dream of mine for for quite a while, and uh, because I've had to design the system myself, it's um, it's been really, really, really difficult. Um, so I um, I think about an hour ago I actually got it working, and um, an entity behaved according to what a Lua script dictated it should, and I just like I just screamed in happiness. I was just on cloud nine because I've been working on this for. Three, four weeks now trying to get this 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 Lua to work, and oh, it feels good. But yeah, I had a few I had a few problems. I spent two hours trying to figure out um, why this Lua code wasn't running, and eventually I found out that um, on the word new in code there was no capital N. There's supposed to be a capital N, and there wasn't, and and that was it. That was that was everything. <laughs> that was all the all my two hours of trying to figure it out. So it's pretty um. It's pretty fiddly, but um, for the game developer using the engine, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a fairly robust error reporting system, um, so that you ha you 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 don't have to sift through code and try and work out what's going on. If you if you have an error in your in your in your code in your code, it will pump out an error message uh, straight away, giving you some sort of a descriptive message about what's gone wrong and what you're supposed to do. So that's pretty that's pretty much that. Um, I'm super happy with it. I'm going to keep uh, streamlining it, and I'm also going to uh, write the wrapper code so that you can do input and move stuff around with the Lua code, which I haven't actually done yet. And hopefully that'll take me a week. So by next week's video, I expect to give you a demo of this this new Lua entity system. Um, it's a lot simpler than the previous component-based system, um, and it's really easy to kind of understand what's going on. Um, so I'm very, very proud of it, and I hope you hope you are too. But I think that's pretty much the video, and uh, goodbye for now.